All right, welcome everybody to our special live stream here on the Cowboy Slot channel. Uh, today's episode is all about home slot machine ownership. I have with me Chris Day, who is the owner of Slot Machines Unlimited, the nation's largest and most trusted retailer of home slot machines for personal use. As you can see, I'm in my game room today uh, with all of my slot machines, and we are here to answer your questions about owning a slot machine for yourself and at your home. So Chris, welcome to the show. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Uh, I think this is our third time now. So hopefully yeah. we've answered a lot of questions uh, that people have. Um, and we've got some really good traction off of it. And I really enjoy doing this. So um, and to start things off, we are going to be doing another uh, machine special uh, for watching the show. Uh, the, the blade, the blade special we had about a week ago was it was a massive hit. So we're going to try and continue to do that uh, for rewarding everybody for for following watching and, and just loving slot machines. Absolutely. Yeah, we're we're definitely excited to get in. And we already have uh, quite a few people in here already. So thank you to everybody joining in. And uh, guys, if this is your first time on uh, on the live stream, uh, this is about home slot machine ownership. So if you do have a question about owning a slot machine at your house, or maybe there's a particular machine that you're looking for that you just can't seem to find or would like to have, let us know in the comments. We'll start pulling up your questions and be happy to answer those for you. So we already have a we already have a question uh, lined up here from Susan. Susan, thank you very much for your question. Uh, hey, all got a question for uh, Cowboy Slots. Looking for an old Bally's, uh, I think uh, that is called something like Triple Trouble Video Poker. Are you familiar with it? I'm not familiar with it, Chris. What about you? Ah, uh, one second. I think it's what's what's called on a Bally Game Maker machine. Uh, I think it's one of the games on there. Now, now I apologize. I don't have every game machine uh memorized but if you guys give me a second i'm gonna look that up and i, I think i'm i think i'm right on this uh but what is it again because i can't see the screen triple uh, trouble she, uh triple trouble video poker i'm almost sure it's a uh, game maker e yes i was i am correct on that one so um that is a machine that we do get and they are they are affordable. Uh, the game makers usually have roughly about 20 to 25 games we can enable. Um, I just don't get a lot of game makers in. I, I, I don't. Um, you know, it's like, you know, the G20s that we sell, all the pokers, I'll go through hundreds of those a year on G23s. But with the with the game maker, I may only get five or six. G yeah. They're just, you still see that many of them. Um but but it is a it is a possible feasible game. They usually run depending depending on your options sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars. So just like any of your older game kings, they're they're in that they're in a, a really solid price point range. Perfect. All right, I, I hope that helps you out, Susan. Yeah. Uh, on that on that question. And Starchild, welcome into the show. Uh, where uh, where do you purchase the slot machine? Uh, right here that's exactly what our stream is uh stream is from uh from chris uh chris here is a slot machine retailer for those of us out there like myself that like to coll uh, collect slot machines um at the home um so we can uh we'll put this uh the phone number up on the screen for slot machines unlimited so if you guys are looking for a slot machine you can always give them a call uh and see if they have it or you can also s uh, shoot them a text right uh right yeah, chris yeah well, i mean uh at first, we always enjoy text. The reason why is it keeps this conversations there for whatever we say. Um, and plus, we can go back and remember things with you. Uh, and then when you guys, you know, when you're ready to, to, to make the purchase, then we'll, we'll get on a phone call and, 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 and go into more depth. But either way is honestly fine. Um, it's just it's, it's easier. It's 2024. Texting is easier. Um, and it's easier for us to kind of keep track of, well, we said we were going to set it up for this denomination and this payout, you know, rather than talking to somebody on the phone, because we get, we, fortunately we sell a lot of, you know, we sell a lot of machines. So it, we want to be able to go back and track what we discuss in case. So there's no, no errors when they get to you. The other thing about the machines, um, is when we sell them and they're done. So we have to go through and refurbish them all to your settings and, and however they are set up and however you wanted them is you'll get a video of the machine before it leaves. Uh, hopefully that gives you a peace of mind. You'll see the machine working and it's just another check in case maybe you told us you wanted it to be a dollar denomination and the text set up for a quarter. They didn't read it right. Or we wrote it down wrong. It happens. 
so we can catch that ahead of time before it gets to your house uh and eliminating issues yeah is, is always absolutely. key absolutely so yeah text is text is always best if there's a particular machine that you're looking for uh, shoot over a text and also uh, be sure to mention this live stream because you do save a little bit of money and uh, mm -hmm. we do always have specials that are going on as well. So uh, thank you very much for that, uh, for that question. Um, we actually got a, quite a few good questions already, uh, already lined up here. Uh, Hugo's wondering, uh, are slot machines legal in California for home ownership? Our slot machine uh, legal in Cal if they're free play, uh, in my opinion, take this however you want. If they're free play, I don't think it's that big of an issue. Um, but I never, you know, check and see. And I just don't see. Um, technically, they're not. But it's kind of like in Ohio. If I go to Indiana and buy fireworks and bring them back, you can take that however you want. So, but we we would set it up for free play for you. Absolutely. And uh, Richard says, I'd like to buy the Walking Dead slot machine. Where can I buy one? <laughs> That's <laughs> probably a pretty tough one, isn't it, Chris? Uh, we've had it before. Um, I won't. Unfortunately, I won't sell it to a homeowner. Uh, reason being it, it, is it requires complex, complex tech work. Um, it requires what's called a vertex, I believe. And they are extremely, extremely difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And if you have a problem with the machine, we, it's going to be impossible for us to help you over the yeah. phone and they're expensive you know um they're probably you're looking 15k for something like that um and i think the walking dead is a double arc it's not going to fit in your house most likely yeah um i mean i think they're 12 feet tall um so 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 yeah we have had it before but i just i'm not going to sell you a headache even if it's fifteen thousand dollars I, I, there's a problem it's a nightmare yeah it's <laughs> just being honest so we're, <laughs> yeah, gonna sell, uh, we're gonna sell it to an operator yeah, I don't. I don't have twelve foot ceilings. That's for sure. No, in, in my house, do. I mean, I can. I can barely fit these guys in here sometimes. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Oh, there used to be a slot called Top Hat uh, that you could play blackjack on. Is that available anywhere? Do you know what the Top Hat machine is? I, I have no idea what that is. I can't recall. If you've got a photo of it, you can text it to us, um, and we can see. Maybe it's on a different type of platform, different type of machine that we have, and I just don't know that it's in that game package. And uh, Lori, Lori, uh, where do people turn for mechanical help uh, when their in-home slot machine malfunctions or breaks? This is actually a really good one. Um, you know, most, you know, th these are still machines. These are still computers. They are going to require some kind of a basic maintenance. Um, I know that Chris does an excellent job of having uh, usually walking over, uh, walking over people uh, over the phone with issues. Um, and I know that their tech support is always really good. Uh, but basic maintenance, um, basic maintenance on slot machines is relatively easy, but, you know, like replacing batteries and stuff like that, it's usually pretty user accessible. But if there's anything that you ever have issues with, um, you can always use the tech, tech support. Um, and Chris, I, if you want to explain a little bit more about how that process works when somebody does buy a machine and does have a technical issue. Yeah. So, so basically this kind of goes back to the walking dead, right? Um, we're not going to sell you something that we can't help you with over the phone and we understand that majority of the people on this chat or anybody that we sell machines to isn't going to know how to fix a slot machine hell i don't even know how to fix them <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't i don't have the I, I don't i know the basics but i i just uh i don't know how to fix them i just never got into it and i just don't have the skill set but um i've always made it a point to it's got to be we've got to be able to sell something we can help over the phone and i would say honestly Brantley, ninety nine percent of the time we get it done. We get it if if we yeah. can't figure it out, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm not in business to take your money, um, and we'll we'll make it right. We'll figure something. We'll figure something out. But that that rarely, honestly, that rarely happens. I would say less than one percent of our machines. It's we can't figure it out. We're either gonna refund you or just ship you another one. So it's it's very uncommon. Most of our customers are great. Uh, that's another reason that we send the videos beforehand. It's that extra layer of protection that, hey, this worked before it left. It's going from Ohio or our Arizona location halfway across the country in a semi truck. It's getting tossed or not tossed around, but it's getting moved around into a large warehouse. Things come loose. So typically our biggest issue is when the when the customer first gets the machine. Now we have taken some preventative measures um, and we've we've. We're, we're making more. We need to make some more of them, but we've made some basic slot videos. 
to this is how you, this is what you do when you get your machine. This is how you open it. This is there's not a manual that's like, hey, this is the problem. Here's how you fix it. They don't have really manuals like that. So, uh, and we I actually started a support group for slots. So it's a lot of I call them slot enthusiasts, slot hobbyists that know a little bit about the machines, know a lot about the machines, and we're in a group. Um, and let's say, you know, like Brandon Hancock, if you, if you got a G20 or a G23, um, which both are great options, a 23 is a better cabinet. If you got either one of those, what would happen if you had a problem is it would go to our, our smooth support group, which is a, a bunch of guys that don't work for me, but, but are, I give them some incentives to help the customers and I trust them with that. And that's, I started that back in January and it's been freaking phenomenal. It's been a lifesaver honestly, uh, because, because Carlos does our, um, Carlos does our, uh, our retail, but it's tough, you know, because we, we, we do move, you know, we probably sell four to six machines retail a day and it's tough sometimes, but, but we wouldn't be doing it if it was some massive, massive nightmare and issues. We don't need to do it. Knock on wood. Um, but I, I, you know, it's it's our it's our niche and we've figured out how to how to do really well at it all right oh let's see um well that was a another maintenance question there i think we pretty much covered that kevin deal uh has a question uh chris or brantley do you have access to the aristocrat par info i have games i want to install but can't find the setup info thanks so here's the thing with when we when we start dealing with par sheets, even even if we do have them, that's uh, that's something that we can't uh, we can't share. Correct. So, yeah, we, you're just gonna have to find that on the internet or do life games. Yeah, exactly. So, unfortunately, yeah, the pars the pars are info that we can't we can't share on that. Um, let's see how much is a, <laughs> we were just talking about this. Uh, how much is a classic, uh, three credit <laughs> pinball machine? They're, they're not, they're not going to like my answer, but yeah. it, is what it is, um, I, I sell them for 10 K and yeah. there, there's a few reasons. And we've had this discussion. There's a few reasons. In my opinion, pinball is the top three best machine of all time. Most popular, um, and casinos still have them. They're in their high limit rooms. So when I buy machines from casinos, like we were just saying, we were just saying there's a list with 340 games on it right now. There's one pinball on there. And that machine, A, I can find somebody that will spend the money on it because they love that game. Or I have I have a couple people that are licensed in, let's say, Nevada that can sell refurbished machines back to the casinos. And that's what actually happened at Circa is I sold a lot of pinballs to a third party um, and Circa will pay stupid money for it. For yeah. that machine. I mean, I, I I don't know exactly what it was, but I want to say they paid north of 20 grand. It's, that's a drop in the bucket for them. They don't yeah. care. The, you know, the class, the, yeah, the, the classic standard. pinballs are super yeah. expensive. Yeah, they're, 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 they just, and they used to sell for like 3,000 back in the yeah. day. I know I had one, and I, I know you probably, and one. you probably sold it for twelve hundred. I probably wrote you. Yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't sell it for twelve hundred, but I sold it for. <laughs> I sold it for I want to say two grand back in the day, which was still very very cheap, and it's I okay. wish I would have held on. I wish to you would have kept it. Right? I I wish I would have kept it. I mean, now I got this pinball behind me, which it's is gonna great, go up. You know? I keep it. Yeah, I mean, I actually just ordered a kit today for my GT. It was three just for the, just the kit was three grand. Yeah, they're they're not cheap. Mm -mm. they are not cheap but i mean that's it's worth it i mean i love i love my yeah, new yeah. pinball yeah my pinball machine i, I you know sl slots are just so much fun to have in your house you know they, they look cool they make game nights exciting you know i love having a group of friends over you know family over having a game night down here having some drinks just having fun yeah. it's it's awesome i mean uh, you know plus it's it's a it's a cool hobby to get into it really is it, it and I always kind of say slot machines are kind of like tattoos in a sense. If you, yeah. Once you get one, that's typically you know, you're what like, happens. okay, I'm yeah. going to get one. And then now you want more and more and mm -hmm. something different, something new. It just, it, it keeps growing, but it's, it's super fun. It really is. And uh, Nancy was wondering if you ship to Florida. Uh, we, we do not ship to Florida. No, we do not ship to Florida. No, Florida, no, Florida uh engelman i hope i said that correctly engelman outdoors do you ever get bar top game kings that are built in, uh into the bar i do 
yeah i, I was I gonna say the, like there's been a couple of warehouses that have had had them. yeah i, I get i get them the the not the problem the it, there's two issues with the bar tops the first one is they i would probably be out in three days of labor of cleaning those things yeah like, because the all the drinks that spill like there's a layer like i don't think i'm exaggerating just imagine a layer of inside the machine of just coke and alcohol just gooed up um so you have to scrape it off it, it's it's very very intense cleaning uh, whenever i sell them i wholesale them to the guys that have the routes um yeah. but we would sell i mean if you wanted one um i would i would sell you one for sure uh it's just you have to be able to, you have to have a cutout in your bar like i don't have the fittings or anything like that for it. i just have the you know, I just have the actual machine and then you get it and you cut it and you customize it however you want. I can't help you there. Um, but, but we do get them. Like I have about 50 right now in my warehouse. So, so yeah, we do, we do get them. Actually, I have a game maker bar. I have four game maker bar tops that I forgot about. So if the triple trouble, madam, wants a triple, tr once a triple trouble bar top, I could probably do that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, never, you know, I've I, never. I never thought about buying a bar top machine, but like, if I if I were to build a bar down here, that would actually be kind of fun. That'd be kind of cool to have like a built in. Like, it's just I've never really. I I could sell them. I just never really like advertised them. I it's probably stupid that I haven't to be honest, because I think people would buy them. They're just they're nasty. They are yeah. nasty, and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just you know well, I thought these were refurbished. Well, yeah, we spent seven hours trying to clean this thing i mean it's just they're they're we're not going to take the whole machine apart it's just it, we're just right. not going to um if it was just you know if it was just one or two of us and that you know we sold one machine here and there i'm going to go through the i'm just being up front i'm going to go through the whole thing and, and make it as pristine as possible but there are there are a lot of work to clean well and hey if you are interested in a bar top i'll put that number there up on yeah. the screen um you can shoot over a text message and and for anybody out there watching if you are interested in really any machine because i know we've got a lot of people kind of commenting about do you have uh this 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 um you can send that all to uh this phone number down on your screen just text it over uh see if they have it be sure to mention the stream too because you are going to save some money um, if you do decide to purchase, uh, purchase a machine from slot machines unlimited. So, so what we're going to do not to, sorry to cut you off. Brandon, yeah, go, go ahead. I uh, just want to clarify something and we can put this in writing after is we're going to have a special. Um, so you just have to mention that you saw the special on the show, um, to get that pricing. And then if you don't buy that, if you buy a different machine, then you'll get, you'll get a hundred dollars off for mentioning that you saw Cowboy slots live streamer or whatnot, but the super jackpot party that we have there, um, that's the price with the discount, um, for, but just say, Hey, I saw, you know, I saw the super jackpot party, the, 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 the pricing on there and then that, that will activate it. Right. So, yeah. um, so yeah. And speaking of special, we do have a super jackpot party today. That's on special 1495 that it does include shipping taxes and it's set up for free play. So uh, any super jackpot party people out there that are interested in having one of those uh, in your house, that is the special deal of the week. Um, so I will toss that number back up on the screen there. Uh, if you guys are interested, you can shoot over a text message. You can either ask for the special or ask for any machine that you're looking for, uh, really. Uh, Ken's wanting to know about Elvis slots. We do have Elvis uh, available. Um, we have the Elvis. It's actually it's pretty cool. It's it's we could put it on a blade cabinet, um, which we could send you pictures or show you pictures so you can see exactly what that is. And, and again, if you want to text uh, below, we've got videos and pictures of that. We have the Elvis that comes in um, uh, like six games. So Elvis, Beer House, Monopoly little red there's two other ones i can't remember the games but it's actually six games and then elvis is on there but it's got a really cool monopoly game on there too hmm. so we sell a lot of those because again you get the functionality of being able to choose multiple games and uh paul was asking about shamrock fortunes from ags i i, I think that's still pretty i think that's uh, the yeah. uh is Not that in the orion cabinet or no what's it called shamrock Shamrock's, Shamrock's Fortunes. I, I'm trying to remember if that's the... Is that the Orion Portrait? I'm pulling it up real quick here on YouTube. Uh, I'm 
Or actually, it might be an Orion curve. I think it's an Orion. Oh. Yeah. Uh, which I do have uh, Orions. I do have mm. Orions. I just don't know if I have that. Yeah, it's an Orion. Um, I could. I mean, if you're if you're absolutely interested, I can look for that software. Um, those machines usually run around seven thousand dollars for those machines. It's a newer machine. They're they're really nice cabinets. Yeah, they are nice. They are nice, and uh, just having fun. Uh, great uh, member supporter of the channel here. I noticed on your website that you have a single line triple stars. How often do you carry five line triple stars? I know you got a lot of game kits. You can pretty much build almost almost any machine. But mm -hmm. uh, what about the five line triple stars? Um, it's it's hit or miss. I I, I don't I don't have an excellent excellent answer for that because I just it's whatever comes in from the casino. When I bid, it'll just say triple star. So I might have three in my warehouse right now. I don't know, to be honest with you and which I'll look tomorrow. Um, and I mean, I have some for three years. Yeah. So it's, you know, and what we've done Brantley with the, with the S two thousands is for time purposes now for where we're kind of, we, we don't do a lot of game kit changes. It's what's in the machine. Um, it's just, it's, it's too time consuming for us now to, to do game swaps, but, it's obviously something that somebody wanted to do it at their house. They could do that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, this is this is a kind of a classic one. Triple double diamond with cheese. Guess I know what? I, what? I'm trading. I'm gonna have it next Friday. Nick, you're in luck. Next Friday, they're gonna have next it. Friday. I'm trading. I don't know if you just saw one, it. Or just one though, right? Are you just doing... one? Guess what I'm doing? I'm trading the ringmaster for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to trade the Ringmaster for it. Um, and that's one of my favorite games, too, is the cheeseburger one. Well, and I'm not Nick just saying that to sell yeah. it, because I'll sell that machine, because <laughs> I get asked for that machine a lot. Um, the, and you're probably going to ask the price. The price is $4,500 for that machine. Oh, Nick, if, if you're still in here, if you're interested in that machine, one of them next Friday. I will have them. I'll, I'll, if you're, if you're wanting to jump on it. I actually can send him a video if he's if he's if he's real serious about it. Okay, yeah, the, Nick, I'll put that number there up on the screen for you. If you are uh, if you are still in here, um, shoot a shoot over a text. Just say, hey, I was on the live stream. I asked about the uh, triple double diamond with cheese, and boom, we'll get you. We'll get it worked out for you. Thank you. See, it it it's helpful. It's helpful to turn into these live streams because sometimes you get those rare machines that. You really can't find very often and just so happens next week on Friday. So I will have it. That's that's yep. awesome. Uh, Edward's asking about uh, Da Vinci Diamond. Yep. I know. Yeah. Yes, they are available for purchase for the home in general. But uh, I don't know if you have any in stock. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we Chris. could just put it on a G20, G23. Your, your typical cabinet, Edward, that we sell a lot of is our um, and you can add a lot of games to it. It's what we sell mm -hmm. the most of um, the affordability. And also, you know, the flexibility of being able to add games uh, and having having a lot of options. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see here. I got another game request here. Ever get the uh, uh, the wild cherries? Yeah, I have wild cherries. It's S two thousand. They run eleven ninety five. Eleven ninety five for those mm -hmm. wild cherries. All right. Moving, uh, moving right along here. Uh, so Re Rebecca was like, uh, was asking, how do you know if the person you were buying from is reliable? Well, I mean, so on here, you know, we always recommend to stick with a licensed dealer uh, that's been doing it for a long time. And I know Chris is the best, in, best in the business for home use. He's been in the business for, gosh, how, how long? Like over twenty years now, right, Chris? Uh, well, I've been around it since 99 because somebody that's when my dad started it but i didn't start till 2010 i started as a cleaner um but so i've been around it for 14 years like in the actually doing this for a living um but i you know i i helped my father out somewhat we didn't get you know i didn't want to work for my dad <laughs> so but I, I was still around it um but as far as reliability goes i mean it's just like anything else you go on vacation, you want to go look at a restaurant, you look up reviews, right? Is every company perfect? No. I, it, and, and if companies say they're perfect, I, in my personal opinion, they're lying to you. Um, no company's perfect, but we, I think our, I think our reputation 
uh, speaks for itself. You can go see our reviews on Facebook. You can see our reviews on Google. And or even doing, in here, Tom, Thomas or, just left. Or even <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, Thomas here. Or, you know, I always tell the retail people, you know, and I get it. It's a, it's a large purchase for you. Our main business is, is selling large volume of machines overseas. So if, if people from Colombia and Asia will send us a lot of money, you know, to, to build their equipment and refurbish it, I think you can trust us with sending us, you know, with, 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 with your machine or whatnot. So again, the reputation's there. I would say 99% of the time, everybody's satisfied and happy with us and we take it from there. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I, I know I can vouch for, for Chris as well. I've bought things from slot machines unlimited. Um, you know, very proud to, uh, have, have slot machines unlimited here, uh, on the show. So, um, very, very good business. Give me very one second. Good. I'm gonna turn my light on real quick. Cause it's getting yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> and Holly, that's a really good question about the, uh, the warranty and what it covers. Uh, as soon as, uh, as soon as Chris comes back, I'll have him tell you a little bit about the warranty, but while we are waiting on that, I'll just put this number up on the screen one more time. So if you guys are looking for a particular machine or anything like that, you can always shoot over a text to Slot Machines Unlimited, see if they have it in stock. And then again, remember to mention this live stream, you're gonna save some money on your order. All right, Chris, while you were gone, Holly had a question about the warranty and what all does the warranty cover? So how we do the warranty, is we try and we try and stick to something pretty basic. Now, as we said earlier, things happen in shipping, right? So, if you just spent twenty five hundred dollars on a machine, and your power supply goes bad in two weeks, it says on our website you got to pay the shipping back. Like, I'm not going to tell you this. I'm not going to make you pay twelve dollars to have it shipped back. It's just you just bought it. <laughs> and it's one of those finicky things like, you know, I just spent $2,500 and now I have to spend $12. Like I get it. So we typically do a 90 day warranty. Um, the support, everybody used to advertise lifetime support. Look, we're going to be there for you as long as we're in business. If I'm speaking from the heart, if you're a pain in the ass, then you're a pain in the ass. If you can just, you can just, Feel that out however you want. Most people are great to deal with, but if, if there's a problem, we're going to help you. We've got the support team behind it. Um, if your light bulbs go out after 90 days, go to the store and get a light bulb. I'm not sending you a light bulb in the mail. Um, if your batteries die, you know, those type of things we don't really cover per se uh, within the first few months, few weeks or whatever, I'll send you batteries. But if your battery dies after a year, just, you're going to have to go buy one on eBay. Um, and, and again, typically a lot of the machines that we're typically a lot of the machines we're selling for home use, the parts aren't uh, that expensive. Depends on what you get, but you know if you're cool and you have machine in your Bally S nine thousand, you know the power supply goes bad after six or seven months. I typically tell myself just send it to them and and send them a bill. Like that's that a one. Bally S, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got, I got, I got it kind of one dead on the machines. So, right now. you know, you know, really the only thing that's crazy expensive, if you're buying your normal retail machine, um, you know, typically less than three to four thousand dollars, um, you're not really getting into really any expensive, super expensive parts. The most expensive one you're going to run into is a G23 monitor. Okay. Uh, th those suck. <laughs> yeah, they do. But again, we, we, we test them, we clean them all before they leave. Um, now that's something where that, if it goes bad, we would, we would want you to do your best to send it back to us. Cause again, it's, it's a six to $800 monitor. We need it back. Um, yeah. we need, cause we can repair it. If it's a $15 part, I'm not going to make you send it back. Um, so that's kind of how it, that's kind of how, how it works. It's a kind of a give and take a little bit. Um, but you know, Minor things like the light bulb goes out. I, I'm not going to send you a light bulb. I mean, unless you buy it, but I'm just not going to send you a light bulb through through, through the mail. <laughs> right. That, that, that'd also be pretty, you know. Yeah. You're, it doesn't you're happen that much. Breaking, breaking the light bulb there. Um, this is a good question. Uh, hey, Chris, how long do your single line three reel slots typically last before they start needing repairs, new battery, et cetera? Uh, and is that all covered under warranty and for how long? So I will answer this about batteries. The battery inside of a slot machine, it is something that 
A, it's going to need replaced at some point. It's a common repair. Um, B, it's usually user accessible. Um, and they're pretty universal batteries. You can run out to a CVS or Walgreens, grab one, pop it in, and be good to go. Um, but the use of the battery, the thing is, is with that particular battery, it all depends on how you treat the machine. If, it's, if you're one of those people, um, this is always why we always recommend leaving the machine turned on. These machines are built to run 24-7 and never turn off. Mm -hmm. um, if you're one of those people, you know, I used to have them before, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to go on vacation and just shut it off or like, oh, I'm going to turn it off. And, you know, I'm only going to turn it on when company comes over. When you're turning it off and leaving it off for an extended period of time, that will cause that battery to drain. So really the length of time on minimum repairs is really very dependent on the environment and how you treat it. Um, if you're treating the machine good, if you're leaving it on, it really shouldn't have any kind of issues other than, yeah, eventually you'll need to replace the battery. Uh, but you can get a lot more extended life out of it. Um, but I know you ask about the warranty. Uh, does the warranty cover things like uh, like batteries? I think um, I think you covered that um, already. Yeah. Again, if you just get the machine, like, and it's it, it's happened. You know, we'll send a machine and the bat it gets there and the battery's dead. I know this sounds crazy, but it, and we're going to send you a battery. If you've had the machine for four or five months and battery dies, you need to just get on. You need to go on the internet and buy the battery. Um, you know, and like, like Brantley said, it's, we always know Memorial day weekend, two days before we're getting phone calls, Labor day weekend, 4th of July, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Why? Because everybody turns their machines on one day before they have company over and, and, and their batteries are dead. And then, you know, all hell breaks loose. Um, right. so that's why we always recommend to leave them on if they're annoying, Put a blanket over it. If they, you know, it's better than trying to have to fix a battery. Even though it's not difficult, I can do it. That's how easy it is. Yeah. Um, I can I can get through most of those issues. Uh, and it's not going to run your. It, you're not going to see some massive spike in your electric bill. Yep. No, I mean my my electric bill hasn't changed at all, and I've yeah, got what a know, dollar a month maybe. I like guess yeah, nothing. I, so I've got four machines running, but these never these never turn off. So these are <laughs> always running back here um and i know uh let's see the slot player asked about how much the batteries uh how much are batteries in slot machines a couple dollars. most most, most slot yeah, machines most. just use the standard little round battery that you can get at cvs for two bucks um there are some exceptions to that there are some games out there that so like if you buy a brand new cabinet some manufacturers have decided to use their own little weird proprietary battery i've seen that happen before too but most machines that you're going to buy for home use are going to have just the regular little circular batteries in it that you can the, pick up the, at a CVS. The only one that's really like, I guess you could say expensive would be like a G23 battery. If yeah. that went bad, those are like 20 bucks. Exactly. Um, and uh, Kevin Deal had a, uh, got a G20. Uh, he had a testimonial, got a G23 yeah. from Chris. Great machine. I know I'm, I'm chomping at the bit to get a G23. It's coming. They're co it's coming. Chomping at the bit. And then uh, and Kevin also said, got three machines from Slot Machines mm -hmm. Unlimited. Willy Wonka, G23, and an I Love Lucy. That is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, BuzzNet Slots. So, uh, sorry, I missed your question there. Um, looking for an original four times pay. Uh, and if so, are parts available? I, or, I mean, the parts are going to be for a S2000 anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, they're the parts are going to be available. Uh, uh, as for the game, I don't know. Do you have I any? Check. I don't off the top of my head. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, we we outsource our S twos, and he might have a game kit. We could swap it right in there. And I'll, you know what? I'll text right now. So go ahead and keep going. I'll text. I'll text Scott. All right. Was it four times pay? Uh, yeah, the original four times pay. Uh, and Alan was asking, sorry if this has been asked already, but is it legal to own a slot machine everywhere? Uh, the answer to that one's no. You're responsible for uh, your own local laws, state laws, um, and checking that. Uh, there are resources that you you can always go online and check. Uh, if you're wondering what the legalities are, you can go online and um, and Google that for your particular state. There's actually a really good Wikipedia article on it. Um, and Van Vancouver, Canada. Um, I believe on the last show, Chris, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe you said you do ship to Canada. Yeah, we do ship to Canada. Um, as far as the customs go, personally, I don't know how that works. I have one of my girls does it. She knows how to do all that stuff. Um, and we've never had an issue with, with shipping machines to Canada. Knock on wood. 
course, but but I don't I don't think it's I don't they would stop it at the border if there was some massive issue. But uh, I've always shipped I've always shipped machines to Canada. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, this is kind of a good question. What range of room temperatures do the machines require? Um, it's, it's running, you know, you're basically running a big computer. So they're, you know, if you've got a bunch of machines running, it's going to heat the room up. Um, so cooler is always preferred, just not freezing. Um, I, there's really not, a, as long as you're not sticking it outside in a hundred degree weather or outside at all, you shouldn't put it outside at all. Um, as long as you know, you're not putting it in a really hot box room, you should be fine. Average room temperature is going to be okay for that. Just don't put it like next to a fireplace or, or anything. Next like to a that. fire. Yeah. Hot, anything, anything extreme, right? Anything super yeah. cold, super hot. Yep. And, uh, Chris, Christian was wondering what titles are available for around $500. I don't think any are right now, um, for that no. price range. I don't no. know what's, you know, I don't know. Chris, what, what, what are your like <laughs> lowest? I don't, I mean, the lowest machines that we probably would have would maybe, maybe we'd let something go for around 800 bucks on free play. And then you got your shipping um, on top of that, or you could pick it up obviously if you want. Uh, but we would probably do some S 9,000. So, you know, some blazing seven type machines like you got there in your, in your house for mm -hmm. some of them we'll do for seven ninety five that, that aren't hotter titles, but I don't have anything under $500. Yeah. Oh uh, well, let's go the opposite end of the spectrum. Are there mm -hmm. any slot machines that are hard to get? Loads of slot machines that are hard really to get. There, <laughs> there are tons of slot machines that are that are hard to get. Um, I mean, I know Chris has a pretty good selection, but there are still some out there that are just, you know, we we talked about it a little bit early on. Um, but pinball right now is hard. It's hard to get. I mean, you can get them. You know, I, I know Chris can absolutely get them, but they're they're hard to come by. They're um, and they're a hot ticket item. Yeah. You know, pinball is, you know, pinball is a hot ticket item right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, but there's there's a few. There's a few. Uh, oh, here's a BB1 question. Uh, Randy said, any place uh, online to buy uh, to buy hard to find slot game cards for a BB1? Like who done it and winner's bid? Do you mean Just like software? software? Yeah, he says uh, he, he did made a follow up question. Just oh, the just software, so uh, eBay for the BB one. eBay, eBay is going to be your best bet yeah. probably, and it should be for like fifty to hundred bucks. I would say you should be able to pick it up for. Okay, um, and just real quick, you know, let's remind everybody about the special. If there's anybody out there that is interested in Super Jackpot Party, I know Super Jackpot Party was a pretty popular game uh, for the longest time. It has a pretty devout following. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there. That like super jackpot party um and that is the special of the show today so if you are interested in super jackpot party today's special it's 14.95 it includes shipping and taxes and it's set up for free play um and if you uh, i'm assuming you have uh, photos of them and stuff like that as well chris yeah uh, i'm texting so avery now he's going to post it to our facebook um but if you know Super Jackpot Party, you know what it looks like. But just text us, and we'll send you. I uh, already did. He said, uh, but we'll send you some pictures. Uh, we'll, and oh, that'll be in a blue Bluebird Two cabinet uh, for the for the Super Jackpot Party. All right. Oh, this is a cool one for you, Chris. Uh, what's the process for you, Chris, mm -hmm. to get these machines, auctions, etc.? Uh, otherwise, um, what would the casino do with these old slots anyway? So, what's your process? Actually, that's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool side story to get into. What is your process so, to get the machines? Well, th throughout the years, I've always contacted casinos. Hey, I buy used equipment. Put me on your bid list. So that's how it begins. Is the casino will put you on their list and and they'll like an auction, let's say, and then they'll send out an email whenever the whenever the auction is, and I'll bid on it. So let's say like right now there's a lot, a lot, a lot of machines for sale. Like four wins in Michigan, I got a bid out on Monarch in Colorado, Grand Sierra in Reno, MG, uh, the Cosmo just sent a list of 380 some games. MGMBO Ravage just sent a list of 170. Harris Cherokee, um, Mystic Lake. I have some old casino that says Oregon. Casino Windsor's Talking Stick, like Tropicana. Uh, Fremont, Main Street, Cali. Like, there's a lot of machines for sale, and they just put a list out there, and then I put a I put a dollar figure to them of how I'm going to bid them uh, or pay for them, and then depending on the state, depending on where it is, um, sometimes I have to go 
through a third party that has a license, like in Nevada, I'll have to have another company buy the machines. They'll charge me and then I'll ship them uh, back to my warehouse. Um, if they, if some, some places, you know, what they do with the old slots anyways, they'll crush them. Mm -hmm. They'll just, they'll throw them away, which I know sounds silly. Um, but I think they'd rather get money than throw them away because it costs them money to, to, to get rid of them and time. Uh, you know, especially in, let's just take Vegas, for example. I mean, it is some of those casinos, it's an absolute nightmare trying to lose slot machines. It is a nightmare. Um, just imagine 53 foot trucks trying to get in there. They don't have loading docks at all those places. You got to get a, you got to get a box truck, uh, to get them on, uh, and then you had to take the box truck with the lift gate up to, to, um, to, you know, to the semi, I did, uh, a load out of treasure Island, uh, back in 2021, it was 650 machines. And they were all under the parking garage at Treasure Island. If you've ever been to Treasure Island and you're crossing over the Mirage, there's parking garages all over there. And there was like 600 and some games there. I threw away like 400 of them. Yeah. I got a dumpster. They were like a bunch of them were I game and Game King slants. Um, pulled the BVs out. And because again, at the time, this was 2021 and shipping them back to Ohio. I know it sounds crazy. Why do you throw slot machines away? But there's just so many for sale and there's only so many we can sell and there's only so many that actually sell and blah, blah, blah. And we sell a lot of parts, so we break them down. A truck back to my place was like $7,500 in 2021. So you, you got 600 and some games and about 400 for slants. Um, so it was almost like 30 some thousand dollars if I shipped them all just for shipping back to, back to Ohio. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and scrap majority of the games here in Vegas. Uh, but it was shipping just to give you a recollection of, of shipping costs now is usually around, is about half of that. Um, it's around 3,000, $3,200 for us. It's a lot more reasonable. It's still expensive, but it's a lot more reasonable than, you know, seven thousand seventy five hundred dollars for machines I'm going to throw away on some of them. So hopefully that kind of answered. I know yeah. I rambled a little bit on that, um, but, but <laughs> no, that's it's a cool story. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. So that's, that's how we get it. It's, it's the, the, the casinos will email it, email us list. And, and sometimes we'll trade parts. Like we'll, we'll say, Hey, we'll give you X amount of dollars in parts credit um, for these games. And then, you know, they'll have a running tab with us. Like I just did it at the Columbus casino. Um, they had about 150 games and I said, I'll give you X amount of dollars for all your machines and they use it as parts credit. So it actually helps the casino in their parts budget. And then I'm able to get the machines for parts. So it's a win-win in that, in that regards. Yeah. And, uh, J dog, thank you very much for gifting 10 Cowboy slots memberships. That's awesome of you really do appreciate that. Thank you so much for that J dog. And, uh, Joe, uh, Joe was asking, can anyone bid on those machines or must have a bit, you have to have a license. Um, the, the casino is not going to sell to an individual, uh, individuals cannot get on the bid list. You have to be a business. You have to have a, have to have a license to do that. Um, and the slot player, can you own a slot machine that takes real money? Absolutely. You can, uh, absolutely. You can, um, a lot of times it's, it's almost easier to, it's almost easier to set up a machine on free play cause it's less moving parts and it's easier on you cause you could just you know, push load a button. The free play. Yeah. yeah, push a button, load the free play cr credits in there. Uh, but yes, if you wanted a machine that takes real money, you absolutely can. Um, you can do you can do that. Um, all right, uh, we'll take a take a couple more, and then we'll we'll round out the show here. Um, before we move on and take some last minute questions, just want to toss this phone number up on the screen one more time. So, guys, if you're out there, if you're looking for a particular slot machine, you can text this number. Texting is better. Uh, text this number. Let them know what machine you're looking for and let them know that you saw this show because uh, you'll be able to save some money on your order. Um, and then we also do have the special of the day, which is the uh, Super Jackpot Party. So if you're a fan of the Super Jackpot Party, uh, slot machines, $14.95, includes shipping, includes taxes, and it's already set up for free play. So uh, again, text that number if you are interested uh, in any of those slot machines or any slot machine uh, for that matter of fact. Um, so we'll grab a couple more questions here. Um, let's see. Jason asked when what's the average age of a machine in the secondary market? Really, they're all over the place. I mean, you can get some that are super old. I've, I've seen some that are ancient. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then I also have seen machines that are 
pr pretty much brand new. So, mm -hmm. and really everywhere in between. So there's really not a, you know, I mean, the average age, I would say maybe like 10. Probably. You're probably average age. You're looking like a blade, probably something in that range. Um, uh, on the used market, a new machine would be like 2019, 2020, mm -hmm. if you get lucky. Uh, because they, they, what happens is they depreciate the machines. Um, so they don't get rid of them until they depreciate. And I think it takes four years for them to depreciate off their books. It's confusing. I don't know how that works, but that's, that's how that. So a 2020, 2019 machine would be like new on our secondary market. Um, you're talking your J43s, um, some newer aristocrat stuff. And, and we're not going to really sell that for home use. It's going to go to our operators overseas. Um, it's expensive and, and yeah. they're using them to make money. So you're probably right though, but I would say 10 to 10 to 12 years. Um, but you know, your S two thousands are early 2000, late nineties. They're still rock horses. They're still great machines. Um, but, but we sell them anywhere, you know, from 2000 to 2019, I guess is, there's a broad range, you know, the, the S9000 yeah. you have there, the ballad machine, that's probably an 07, 08, I would say. And I have no... I'd have, I would, I'd have to look on it and see. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> somewhere in that range. Um, yeah. And I would never think twice about selling it. You know, I don't look at the age of the machine, if that makes sense. Um, and then uh, Rudy was asking, looking for a Willy Wonka slot machine. I don't know if you have any Willy Wonkas I right have. now. I Just shoot us a text. No? Oh, Okay. See, it's all—it's always helpful to ask. Mm -hmm. So yes, they, they have Willy Wonka. So if you're looking for a Willy Wonka machine, then text that number because uh, it's aren't those those Willy Wonkas can be pretty hard to find too. Yeah, uh, I, I I got lucky and found a good software source, so I bought I bought some software. So, but I've I've got Wonka. I've got a couple Wonkas left. All right, and then uh, we'll take uh, take one final question here from Hugo. Can you program an IGT slot machine for free play? Absolutely, you can. Uh, they're one of the easiest. So yes, you can absolutely set it up on free play, uh, no problem. And that's something that I know that um, that slot machines unlimited can definitely help with. Uh, free play is usually preferred. So yes, absolutely, you can for sure set that up on free play. Uh, again, guys, thank you all so much for joining the show tonight. Thank you to Chris Day, who is the owner and president of Slot Machines Unlimited for joining us on the stream today. A lot of great questions that came in. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your questions. And again, if you, do, um, if you are looking for a slot machine, if you wanna build a game room at your home, uh, you know, great for family entertainment, family fun, then this is the number to text. Uh, you can shoot a text over to that number. Let them know what machine you're looking for. Uh, and you, I was surprised by some of the machines that you actually had in stock today. I know that double diamond with uh, triple double diamond with cheese is probably going to get nabbed. I just got quick. text about it. So uh, I know that, that's Avery, probably going to get nabbed pretty that's quick. That's going to get nabbed fast. Uh, that, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I couldn't sell the remaster. I thought I could sell it. Yeah. But it's only, <laughs> it's only certain people that like those type of, you know, that, that it's sentimental to them on, on some yeah. of that stuff, you know. And those some of those games can be really, really hard to find. So I've never had a what? remaster, never had that machine, yeah. so I bought it <laughs> from from an individual. <laughs> I don't do that, and I was like, uh, I think I could make some money on this, and I bought it, and I, I wasn't able to sell it, but um, we'll trade it for a cheeseburger. It's all good. All right, and also don't forget, guys, about the special today, which is the uh, Super Jackpot Party. If you guys are Super Jackpot Party fans, uh, special deal fourteen ninety five for that machine. Uh, and again, thank you, Chris, so much for joining us on the show today. Really do appreciate it. I, I'm enjoying doing these shows. It's something different. It's something new. It's something fun. Uh, and I think there's a lot of people out there that are really interested in owning slot machines for your house because, I mean, hey, it's fun. Like we always talked about. I know we talked about it in the first episode. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want a jackpot on a machine and you just you loved that moment. And it's a great way to kind of memorialize that moment at your house is to buy a machine that is the same machine that you hit that jackpot on and that way you have a centerpiece and a story to tell on it or, or maybe you've got you know family and friends that like to come over uh holidays events stuff like that or, or even They're like great. kevin kevin had said earlier and his 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 father has dementia and it's it's been an, almost sounds like a lifesaver keeping his dad busy uh yeah. you know um just thing things like that and it's not a sales pitch or anything but they just they look nice in the house like I, I have some in my home and I've been in stocks like forever <laughs> and I just like to look at them. Um, and I'm not even a really massive gambler or, or anything of that nature. Now, um, 
I know we got to go. I, I apologize for, for, for taking over, but oh, you're maybe good. one other thing is if they want to give some suggestions on some other type of, 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 cause there's so much more that I can offer that, that they have no idea. Like I can get, I don't know how we would do it Brantley, but we could set up something like when I go and load machines, we can get behind them. We can get behind the, the scenes. Like today, my girls were behind the Cosmo looking at used games. Um, I could maybe even just do a trial run at the Dayton Casino. Like you wouldn't have to be there, but I could have like, there's some other things that we can do that, you know, people would never even think about, um, you know, even going to a manufacturer, you know, uh, things, things of that nature. Yeah, it would, it, it would be, it would be really awesome. And there's, mm -hmm. there's so many things, that, so many things that we can do. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining us here on the show today. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't yet, be sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet as well. Uh, we do shows like this all the time. Um, don't forget to join us on Sundays. Uh, Sundays is our regular Q and a show where we take your questions about anything slot or casino related. So be sure to tune in on Sundays. Uh, members, for those of you that were just gifted member uh, memberships, uh, thank you very much again for uh, for that gift of those memberships. Member Monday is, it always happens on Monday at 7 p.m. Central. And members also do get access, early access to videos uh, and a whole lot of more uh, fun stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining us here tonight. Really do appreciate each and every one of you. As always, best of luck, stay safe, and we will see you again next episode.